Hello and welcome to Zoho Desk product walkthroughs. This is Vijay from Zoho's marketing team and in this video I'm going to show you how you can answer a support ticket from a customer using Zoho Desk. Hi, thanks for tuning into this video of Zoho Desk product walkthroughs. Let's get started. The first thing you would see when you log into Zoho Desk is the home screen, which is divided into two sections. To your left, you would be able to see the menu options and to your right, the list of tickets. By default, you are on the tickets module, but there are other modules as well. If you head to the top left corner of the home screen, you should be able to see this drop down menu that lets you switch between the different modules. There are 8 modules in Zoho Desk. You have the tickets, knowledge base, customers, tasks, reports, community, social and chat modules. Just click on any one of these to switch to that particular module. Now let's explore the tickets module a little more. Within the home screen, you would notice that we are on the views option. So what exactly are views? Well, views are simply different ways in which you can filter the tickets here based on a certain criteria. Zoho Desk has a bunch of built-in views that you can select on the go to filter the tickets according to your requirements. For example, you might choose to look at only those tickets that have been assigned to you. Or you might want to look at tickets that are still open so that you could work on these tickets rather than the ones which are already in progress. Based on your requirement, you can choose the view that works for you and filter the list of tickets. And not just that, you can set your own filter criteria by heading to the plus icon here, enter a name for the view you wish to create and select the filter criteria and also set the visibility. And voila, a custom view has been created according to the criteria that you specified. Now comes the burning question, which ticket should the agent start working on? That's supposed to be a pretty simple question, right? Well, not really. Here's why choosing tickets can be a hard task. Let's assume that you might want to choose a ticket that has the nearest due time. How about this one here? But as you scroll down, you realize that there's another ticket with the same due time. So now you're forced to compare the statuses of these two tickets. Let's say you choose to work on the one with an open status, leaving the one which is already in progress to be worked on later once you're done with the first one. Now that might have seemed simple enough, but hey, this was just a couple of tickets, right? What happens when you have tens or hundreds of tickets? Well then, you would probably sort the tickets according to the due time, like this, and then filter them on the basis of their statuses. And then of course, you would check which ones need to be worked on. But doing this every single time is going to be tedious and time consuming, right? Thankfully, with Zoho Desk, the problem does not arise at all because you have an intuitive feature called the work modes. If you look at the set of icons here, just above the list of tickets, you will notice that we are on the list mode at the moment. Close to the list mode icon, you have three work modes to choose from in this drop down. Each of these work modes sorts your tickets according to a certain parameter. Let's take a look at each one. The countdown mode arranges the tickets into columns for you according to the due time. So each column is a queue of tickets. The leftmost queue will have the list of tickets that are overdue, so these are the tickets that need your immediate attention. The column to the right are the list of tickets you will need to work on in a few hours once you are done with the overdue tickets of course. The last column to the right are the list of tickets that you will need to work on later in the day. In case you want to customize these columns, just head over to the manage queues option here and add a queue. Isn't that simple? Let's move to the next mode, the handshake mode. When you integrate Zoho Desk with Zoho CRM, you would be able to see the tickets in the handshake mode. A ticket you receive could be from someone who's interested in buying your product or availing your services, commonly known as the lead. Or it could be from a lead from whom you're pretty sure how much business you're bound to make, known as the potential in the CRM parlance. Or it could be a ticket from an existing customer. The way you respond to leads, potentials and customers obviously can't be similar, since their needs are different. So you would need to tailor your responses according to the type of contact which is exactly what the handshake mode helps you do. The handshake mode gives you an additional context by sorting tickets according to the type of contact who submitted it. So when you know that Ashlyn here is an existing customer, you might want to check with her if the product she's using is working fine. And if she's happy with your company services, you might also want to cross sell any other product that might interest her. Whereas for a ticket from a potential, you might want to chip in with suggestions of products that satisfy Steve's requirements here. The next mode is the status mode that sorts tickets according to the ticket status. 
So you see the list of tickets that are on hold, escalated, open and in progress sorted into different columns here. Which means that in case you want to work on the open tickets, you can do so right away without any delay. Regardless of which mode you choose, you have all the details that you need like who the ticket is from, by what time it's due, the status of the ticket, what the ticket is about, the number of conversation threads in the ticket and what channel the ticket came in from and all this without even getting into the ticket. The best part though is that tickets automatically move between the queues like this. So let's select this ticket to work on. Just click on it to open up the ticket. What you see here is the unified ticket screen. This interface has two sections. To your left, you would be able to see the ticket properties and to your right, you would be able to see the ticket conversation and a set of actions that you can perform within a ticket. Zoho Desk gives you an additional context that makes it easy for you to respond to tickets. For a start, you can check if this customer has sent any other tickets in the past. Just head to the timeline option here at the top left corner. Click on this icon here and there you go. It does look like the customer has submitted a ticket a few months ago. Before you begin working on this ticket, you might also want to check if a fellow agent has already started working on this ticket. And for that, you can head to the history tab at the top right corner. Clicking on this pulls up the list of all the actions that have happened within this ticket grouped by the date in which that action has happened. Since no other agent has worked on this ticket, you can now reply to the customer. To help you cut down on the time it takes to draft a reply, Zohodesk has a neat trick that automates the process of sending a reply to a great extent. When you click on the reply button here, a list of articles appear to your left which are basically solutions to problems that your customers usually face. Zohodesk automatically analyzes what the ticket conversation is all about and suggests these relevant solutions that you can easily add to your ticket reply. You can either paste a link to the article or you could paste the entire article content into your draft like this. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Now, if you would like to change the text formatting, you can do so from here. The response editor supports a rich text format that lets you change the style of the text like the font, the text size and the color. Now, if you would noticed, there's a question here at the end of the response. Zohodesk allows you to receive feedback instantaneously from customers using the customer happiness ratings. A simple question that you can customize gets appended to the end of your response with the options that you set. When customers choose a rating, you get a notification immediately in real time. Isn't that neat? Well, now you can polish the reply and send it off to the customer. And there you go, a response has been sent to the customer. That was easy, wasn't it? So that's how you can use the additional context that Zohodesk provides for replying to tickets. If you need any help using Zohodesk, just send us an email at support at zohodesk.com. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informative. Please do check out our other walkthrough videos as well. Zohodesk, put customer service at the heart of your company.